When you swim with sharks, it's terrifying because you're always aware that this is a predator that could attack you if they wanted to. But at the same time, it's awesome in the true sense of the word. You can't help but be struck by how beautiful these animals are and how perfectly designed they are for what they do. They are hunters who are unparalleled. It's incredible when you think these are animals that evolved long before dinosaurs, and yet they are so honed towards survival that they have managed to stay around with us for all this time. They're so different in how they approach the world, but at the same time, we're linked to them. The bones in our inner ear came from sharks. So did the muscles that we use to chew and to talk. We don't actually understand the extent to which we're the predators now in the sea. Sharks are able to regulate the entire food chain below them. And when you take them out, everything gets out of whack. There's a whole underworld where a single shark on the thin market could go for $57,000. There are closed door auctions where, with clicking of the abacus, the fate of all these sharks is determined by the highest bidder. When I was able to get into the ocean and really see what's down there and what is hidden from our view, I was hooked. I just thought, here's this completely separate universe, this totally different way of existing. And you get a passport to it from time to time, and that's an incredible thing. Demon fish is actually a phrase that someone mentioned when I was traveling in New England, that they've become the demon fish to recreational fishermen there. And I thought it was a great way to capture how we misunderstand them. And ultimately, this book in some ways is about unpacking the myth that surrounds sharks and giving you a sense of what these creatures actually are.